Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I want to talk to those of you in the state of California about the California EDD's sequence of benefit programs. Now, I have done a full video that outlines the next round of extensions, exactly who needs to reapply and when, and the sequence of events for those extensions. A few days ago, I published a very detailed video about the next round of extensions up through claim week ending September 4th. That video is very detailed, and in it, I go through all of the information that we have from the EDD at this point in time in terms of different types of claims, who needs to reapply, who needs to wait, and when you can expect to receive your extension. If you haven't viewed that video, click it in the video description down below, and it's gonna pop up top on screen as well. But I wanted to go through the flow of programs with you so that you understand exactly what happens in what order, because many of you are very confused about what happens next with your specific program. The EDD has its own flow chart showing the different benefits programs, but I feel like they're missing a few details on their chart, so I made my own chart. It's very simplistic, but I'm going to talk you through exactly how it goes through the flow of events with your claim. In order to know what type of claim you have, you can locate this by logging in to UI Online. From UI Online, you're going to click on Claim History. From Claim History, you're going to click on your most recent transaction. Within that transaction, you will find the acronym for the program that you are in. You will see either UI, PEUC, FedEd, or DUA. If you see DUA and you are not on a specific disaster related claim, such as a wildfire, etc., then you would be PUA. Yes, it's classified as DUA, but you are in the PUA program. The next way that you could figure this out if you don't have access to looking at UI online would be to look in your original benefit award letter, and it will be listed there. The third way to figure this out is by what type of an employee you were previously. If you had W-2 earnings prior to being unemployed, you would be classified as UI, a traditional unemployment claim. If you were self-employed prior to the pandemic or you had limited work history such as a promise to start a job which never came to fruition due to the pandemic then you would be classified as PUA. Let's start with the easiest type of claim first which is PUA. PUA's end date to the entire program is defined by the stimulus bill. PUA was created as a provision of the CARES Act and it is extended through our most recent extension up through claim week ending September 4th. Now PUA claims will continue until the program ends because new legislation extends and amends the end date. PUA claims are not required to file a new claim. Even when a PUA claim reaches the end of its benefit year, as the current rules stand, PUA is not required to file a new claim. This could potentially change in the future if the EDD releases an additional requirement to reapply, but at the current point in time, EDD states that PUA claims do not need to file a new claim. Next, let's talk about UI. If you start with UI, you first have 26 weeks of unemployment benefits. After that, you will then be extended onto a PEUC extension. Now, PEUC extensions are essentially broken down into three different tiers. The old PEUC extension that we had first was a 13-week extension. That 13-week extension lasted up through claim week ending December 26th. The second stimulus bill was signed in December. We then had an 11-week PEUC extension, which extended claims up until claim week ending March 13th. Now we are in our third stimulus bill, and our third stimulus bill has granted an extension for PEUC extensions up until claim week ending September 4th. Now, if you start out as a traditional unemployment claim, once you have exhausted all of your weeks of UI, you will then move on to a PEUC extension. Now, if your PEUC extension expired and in between now, if your PEUC extension expired and there was a large enough lapse in between one stimulus bill going into action and the next, then you might have been kicked into Fed Ed. FedEd is a partially state-funded, partially federally-funded extension program, which is triggered on if the state unemployment rate is 6% or higher, or if the state unemployment rate is 5.5% or higher, and is higher than it was the last two years. 
FedEd is currently available as an extension for up to 20 weeks. And in order to qualify for FedEd, you must meet a certain set of requirements. I'm gonna link the video where I show how to figure out if you qualify down below. Now, once you have exhausted all of your UI, you then would move on to a PEUC extension. If your PEUC extension ended before the next stimulus bills extension kicked into action, then you may have been placed into Fed Ed. Fed Ed would continue for up to 20 weeks. Now, for those of you that are currently in Fed Ed, you must exhaust all of your Fed Ed weeks before you are allowed to move back into the PEUC extension. Once your Fed Ed weeks are exhausted, then you will be allowed to have the PEUC extension applied to your claim, and you will be able to use those PEUC weeks up until claim week ending September 4th. Now, some of you may have received UI, you may have received PEUC, and then when that PEUC extension ended, you may have been denied Fed Ed. If you were denied Fed Ed at that point in time, then the EDD may have placed you into a PUA claim as an extension. For those of you that were placed into PUA claims as an extension, the EDD is now required to migrate you back over to the newly available weeks of PEUC. This is a requirement due to the federal legislation and the directives from the Department of Labor. For those of you that were previously using PUA as an extension, you're now being migrated back to PEUC. This might impact your weekly benefit award amount. If you have seen your weekly benefit award amount decrease, then this would be the reason why. For those of you that were migrated back over from a PUA extension back over to PEUC, you will remain on PEUC until it ends. Now, if you have a lapse in your PEUC extension before you get to that next tier of the PEUC extension, Fed Ed may kick in for you if you qualify. So you may receive a notification to your inbox stating that you qualify for and will be receiving Fed Ed. If you were then issued a Fed Ed extension, you would exhaust the full up to 20 weeks worth of Fed Ed benefits. Then following the exhaustion of that Fed Ed extension, if there are any remaining weeks left in PEUC extensions leading up to claim week ending September 4th, then you would receive those additional weeks of PEUC before the program ends on September 4th fourth. Now, for some of you, you may have started with UI, gone straight into PEUC, and remained in PEUC the entire duration. For those of you that have remained in PEUC and haven't switched out to a different type of extension, you would have your PEUC extended up until claim week ending September 4th. Following that September 4th end date, if you are on a PEUC extension and you get to September 4th and the state unemployment rate is still that 6% or above rate in order to trigger Fed Ed on, then qualify to receive up to 20 weeks of Fed Ed. With that being said, Fed Ed currently has seven weeks which are federally funded. Those seven weeks worth of federally funded Fed Ed will expire unless additional legislation is passed to extend what is known as extended benefits in the stimulus bill. So if we get to September 4th and the unemployment rate is still at that above 6% mark, then you may qualify for additional weeks of Fed Ed, which would most likely be 13 weeks because that additional seven weeks from the stimulus bill granting those extended weeks of extended benefits would have expired. Now, if you were an employee prior to the pandemic and you started out in this UI track and you are receiving UI, PEC, or Fed Ed, then the EDD requires you to file a new claim once you have reached the end of your 12 months worth of benefits, known as your benefit year end date. Now, your benefit year end date can be found by looking in UI Online and looking at your claim start date. 12 months after that is the end of your benefit year. Currently, the EDD states online, as well as in their most recent March 18th press release, that if you reach the end of your benefit year, that you are required to file a new claim. 
Now this does not apply to PUA, but if you're within that UI track, then you must file a new claim when you reach the end of your benefit year. So what if you do not qualify to receive a new claim once you reach the end of your benefit year? Well, under current stimulus legislation, the EDD is allowed to keep you on your old claim and apply the PEUC extension up until September 4th to your old claim if you do not qualify. However, in order to do that, in most cases, they must check and see if you qualify for a new claim first before they can apply it. In some cases, claimants do continue to receive payouts from their unemployment benefits after their benefit year. In most cases with FedEd, many subscribers of mine report as FedEd claimants they continue to receive payouts past the end of their benefit year. This is also true for some claimants during this current round of extensions while we are waiting for that third stimulus bill provisions to be put into place. But it is safest to call in to customer service when you reach the end of your benefit year. Ask them if you need to file a new claim and they will look at your own specific claim and let you know for your own unique claim if you're required to file a new claim. In most cases, they are able to look at your claim over the phone and they are able to tell you if you do or do not qualify for a new claim. They are then able to put in the request to keep you on your old claim and apply the extension that way. Now the extension then wouldn't be received up until the extensions are actually updated in claims with this third stimulus bill, which will be by 430 for PEUC recipients. But what calling in allows you to do is it allows you to bypass the application process if you don't qualify for a new claim. So at this point in time, I still do recommend calling into customer service when you reach the end of your benefit year. Okay, you guys, so I hope that was helpful to get you to understand the progression of claims a little more clearly and what is next for your specific type of claim. If you need more information on the upcoming extensions, I want you to view the video that I created a few days ago where I go into detail about the upcoming extensions. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Seven weeks of federally funded Fed Ed. Federally funded Fed Ed. If the tier of PEUC that you are currently receiving, 13 weeks, 11 weeks, or what's the next one? 29 weeks. And then you would be able to finish out any remainingly of remainingly. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. It's very detailed and it goes through each type of program and when they're receiving the ex I keep doing this a lot. Why so many? I don't know.